Philip Buchanan called me. He's an author, an ex-NFL player. He wants to buy a high-end luxury car, something he's very insistent that won't depreciate. You know, it's funny because I deal with a lot of athletes. Some of these guys will spend $100,000 customizing a car, and then I'll buy it for twenty. dollars so their investment really pays off for me. Philip is, uh, sounds like a really smart guy. He sounds like he knows what he wants. He just has to see the right car and he'll buy it. How you doing? I called you earlier, Philip Buchanan. Philip Buchanan, former NFL player with the Oakland Raiders. That's right. And I'm also an author too, so I just created a book called New Money Staying Rich. I'm just trying to give advice and help guys understand that making better decisions with their money so they don't blow all their money. Yeah, you're yeah. a bright guy. No, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned to me you were looking for something in a luxury car, and you said something that won't appreciate. I'm tired of buying cars that drop down 20 to 30 percent, which is driving a lot. Right off the line. Yeah, so I, mean, I don't sell that kind of car. I sell cars that go up, not down. If I got a car I'll show you that fits the bill. I got something really special, really beautiful, will hold its value, and I think in the next five years, will double. So let's go check it out. Come on. New cars actually depreciate. As soon as you drive with a lot, it's, it's, it actually depreciates 20, 20 to 30 percent. So what's the point of buying something that does not help you in value? You want to be able to keep your money. But when you get a classic car, it stands for something. So that's why I'm here today. I want to buy a nice car, maybe some old vintage type of Rolls Royce car, or something that definitely holds value, that emulates my personality, that stands for what I stand for. Hmm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. This is rolling artwork. This is a 1965 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud III, which is the last of its type. It's all Connolly leather. It's been redone recently. It's, it's an amazing, amazing car. Just really is amazing car. So you sit in the back and you want to write, it's all proper wood. Every piece of wood is from the same tree, matched. They say in the factory, they have extra pieces of the wood in case you ever need it. Are you confident in the appreciation? Because appreciation is my middle name, so I need to know. Without a question, this car is gonna go up every single year. It's the nicest Cloud 3 I've ever had. So I talked to my mentor, and he told me the Rolls Royce Civil Cloud 3 is a good buy. So it's been going up in value for the last 15 years. If I can get anywhere close to 90, 91, or 92, I'll be fine with that. I'll probably offer him 75 to 85. I'm gonna start at 75. You can start hitting the bricks, my brother. I am not selling this car for 75 grand in a million years, it ain't happening. This car's worth every penny of 96 and a half. So you won't take 75? Right? I won't take 80 either, and I won't take 85. So try to be serious with me, let's make a deal. You seem confident that the value is very strong, you know, it would definitely appreciate over the years. There is no question a car like this will appreciate. These cars are off the charts at appreciation. I think I can uh, bump my price, I'd say probably about 90. At least you're getting in the right area code now. You're not insulting me anymore. 92 grand and you own the car. I can probably agree to doing it in 92. I think we get the deal done. Sure, car. Congratulations. I'm appreciate happy for you, appreciate man. That's it, great. Man. This is great. That. And by the way, when you're done with it, if you get tired of it, just come back and sell it back to me because this is a car that is going up and I'd like to have it. You know what, Ted? I like your style. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm straight up, bro. Okay. Simple as that. Yeah. Great car. I'm going to miss it. It feels good to get a new car and I love buying things that, that actually holds value. It's definitely an investment and that's why you gotta try to invest smart and make sure that you know you're doing the right things and at the same time you can have fun with it. I just got a call from Charles Johnson, the former Marlins great catcher, and he uh, has got a Bentley convertible, Mulliner, Azure. Charles is a neighbor of mine, and I've seen him cruising the car, and I've been a little envious wanting it. So he's ready to sell it today, and if he hits the number, I'll buy it. I've been knowing Ted for a lot of years. Uh, we neighbors. I was always wondering, who is this guy with all these cars? I never knew him, never met him before, but one day I had a chance to meet him in a grocery store, and we got to talking and realized we are neighbors. Our relationship built from there. Dad, what's going on? What's going on, Charles? Good to see you, How man. You doing, man? Nice to I'll see you. I'll tell you what. How you feeling? Yeah, feeling good, feeling good. You're never seen you with tennis shoes on before. Same color, huh? But yours are the real deal, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. I've had a bad month. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Got this nice Bentley for you, Ted. Runs good. Oh, it runs excellent. Definitely, it's a Ted car. I love these convertibles. Yeah. How you like the color? Black as a crow and ready to go. <laughs> I like it. I like the chrome wheels, uh -huh. too. You ought to clean them once in a while. I know Ted is a tough bargain. I know he's going to bargain really hard with me. I know he's going to really fight to get it down um, somewhere around 60 or so. I'm going to probably start Ted out at probably 70. He's going to be a little tough on me, but I got to start at a high so and come down a little bit. I think he read my eyes that I like the car. I don't need a strategy with him. He doesn't need the money. He's obviously here because he's done with the car. If he's not going to beat me up, I'll own the car and drive it home tonight. Charles, I like the car. 
I thought you would. Yeah, you know I like I this kind of I thought you would. <laughs> what do you want? What, talk to me. Ted, and I know Rick pretty close, and I know, I know you're playing the violin and everything else, but I'm going to 70, Ted. You know, in my head, uh -huh. right off the bat, the number 50 is what hits me that I'm liking. I could probably go pair of nickels, 55. I'm thinking 65. I don't want to walk away from the car, but I don't want to buy it where I can't make a profit. I know what you're going to do, Ted. When you sell this car, you're going to say, hey, the former baseball player Charles Johnson drove this car. And you're going to make an extra 10,000 bucks on it. So now you nickel and diamond me for $5,000? Charles, you fool yourself. I know what you're going to do, Ted. I am. I am. I'm proud that I'm proud it's your car. But I ain't paying more than 60 grand than if it was Babe Ruth's car. Listen, Charles, you're my buddy, but I'm done at 60. So shake my hand and stop beating me up. All right, Ted. What's right. the deal? I figured that. All right. <laughs> but you got me. You got your number. I know you got your number. I know. It's a deal. I know right. you're going to really enjoy this car, Ted. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going out in it tonight. I'll take you up to a steakhouse if you want to get something good. We can do that, Ted. It was a tough deal. I knew Ted wasn't going to be very difficult. I still feel like I won the deal. Ted gets this nice Bentley car, but at the same time, I'm able to go get the truck I was looking for. I know it's probably very unusual for me for somebody to beat Ted, but being neighbors, I know how he operates. I'm happy with the deal. I'm really glad and I'm honored that Charles came to me with the deal. You know, he could have gone anywhere, but he came to me, and I like that. I actually, you know, thought 60 would be the end of the world for me. I couldn't pay more than that. So, you know, I mean, I'll be able to use this car a year or two and get 65 or six back. So it's like a free car. I'm very happy.